In Ukraine, the impact of the Russian invasion unavoidable. Not so in Russia. Access to foreign media cut off, the Kremlin tightly controlling how Russians see this conflict. But as the war over information continues, Russia's own soldiers now purportedly used to change how this war is seen at home. This unverified video shows a captured Russian soldier calling home. Everything that they say on TV is a lie, he says. Combating the official narrative at home, this soldier speaks to his mother, saying before the invasion, life was peaceful here. These videos allegedly put out by the Ukrainian government, the website that hosts them now blocked in Russia. Independent journalists in the country off the air, too. It's not possible to get uh, information now. It's closed. It's like in USSR. On Russian TV, a convoy of support for the invasion. That's what the Zeds on those vehicles stand for, mirroring what's seen painted on Russian tanks in Ukraine. The same symbol seen here on this Russian gymnast. The athlete to his right is from Ukraine. From outside Russia, an attempt to change the way people there see the conflict. Hackers claim to have hijacked Russian TV broadcasting video from Ukraine. Still, experts say most Russians support the invasion. In public image, in public uh, imagination, Ukraine, again, as I said, is not fully a state. Uh, it's just uh, a debris, it's kind of uh, a residue of the Soviet uh, empire, of the Soviet Union. There are Russians who oppose the invasion. Thousands of anti-war protesters were arrested just this weekend, but not nearly enough to have any real chance of stopping. Aaron Collins, CBC News, Calgary.